Good morning. It's time for another high five. Let's go up higher, especially with the things about the power of the blood of Jesus. You know, in the last days, Gwen Shaw said in, in her book, I um, can't remember which book it was, but she, she said that the blood of Jesus is going to be more powerful in the last days than it was when Jesus first shed it uh, on Passover uh, when he was on the cross. And so that's an amazing statement. But when you look at Revelation chapter 12, it says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, and we love not our life unto death. That means the blood of Jesus is going to be of primary importance in these last days. And it's very important that we understand the power of the blood of Jesus. Now, uh, a couple of days ago, I, I started with pleading the blood. Now, pleading the blood is not found in the Bible, but since the Bible is an entire book of, of legality, you're talking about uh, covenants, testaments, laws, uh, and there is a lot of legalities, and, and, uh, and we have a legal blood-bought right um, to, to stand before the judge. It's, it, by the blood of Jesus, you are brought near to the throne of grace. And uh, so, and yesterday I talked about one thing never to do, and that's cover. Never cover anything with the blood of Jesus unless you cleanse it first because you lock the demons inside and they can't get out. Now, the blood is very much like, um, um, I, you know, I can't remember if I have told you, I've spoken so much about the blood lately. Uh, it's been scientifically proven that blood is congealed light. Now, light travels at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. It, it is a frequency, it is a sound frequency that we can't hear. Very much like a dog whistle, if somebody would blow, would blow a dog whistle, we wouldn't be able to hear it, but it would drive all the dogs crazy. And so for that reason, you can have an invisible fence around your, your yard that the dog will not get through because of the frequency, it drives them crazy. Well, if God hears the blood, the cry of the blood, God hears the blood, cry of the blood, and demons scream when you plead the blood, that means that they have come in contact with that frequency of the blood. And so when you cover the house or cover something with the blood of Jesus, please go back and listen to yesterday if you didn't hear that because I gave a, a th a four different examples of, of why you should never cover anything with the blood of Jesus unless you cleanse it first. And so I gave four examples yesterday. Please go back and watch them. And um, so I just got off track just a minute, just a minute, okay. And so um, when, uh, when we cover something with the blood of Jesus without cleansing it first, that means you lock the demons inside and they can't get out because they cannot get past that frequency. It's just like the death angel could could not get into the house uh, when it was applied in, um, uh, when, it, when the blood was applied to the doorpost in the book of Exodus chapter 12. Well, the same thing is, you, you cannot, the demons can't get out. They can't get in, they can't get past the blood. The devil has no, the devil has no um, uh, weapon. He has no weapon, defense weapon against the blood. And so that is one thing It is going to be major in these last days. Sing about the blood, pray about the blood, uh, um, you know, preach about the blood, understand the power of the blood. Um, Benny Johnson, uh, Bill Johnson's wife, has a wonderful, wonderful uh, book on the power of communion. Uh, you need to check into that. But one, I, I want to tell you one more example. Now, drawing a bloodline is very much like covering with the blood of Jesus. And we had friends um, that had a mini golf. And the, the, the people that, you know, mini golf, you, you have so many, so much um, uh, cash. And, and some of the people that were working at the mini golf course were stealing the money. And so our friends said, uh, should we draw a bloodline around the golf course? And I said, yes, but make sure you go walk through the golf course and just say, I cleanse this, this mini golf course of the blood of Jesus. Anything that is not supposed to be here, cleanse it. And we're going to talk about cleansing tomorrow, washing, because the Bible talks a lot about that. And, um, and, and then after you do that, go around and draw a blood ring. Put a blood ring around your golf, mini golf course. And you know what? All 
theft stopped. There was no more stealing because the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. And he was behind all that. And so they put the bloodline up and no more could they be stolen from. So God bless you. Talk about cleansing tomorrow. God bless.